The first meetings this season between the Fever and the Chicago Sky were close. This one tonight, not so much, as the Fever overcame a slow start. They hung 100 on the Chicago Sky, and Indiana continues to look like the best team in the WNBA right now. They've now won five out of six after the Olympic break, and they are moving one step closer to clinching their first playoff berth since 2016. Honestly, like, I felt like it was like a, just a smooth game for us. Like, I just felt like we were flowing well out there. Like, it just felt like pretty basketball. Like, and sometimes I think as a basketball player, like, you can just feel it. Chicago threw the first punch, jumping out to a 24-11 lead. But early in the second quarter, the Fever came all the way back. Consecutive threes by Caitlin Clark, even the score, and then the Fever took the lead. I think we're doing a much better job of getting it figured out early. We, we always talk about stopping the bleed. You got to find a way to stop the bleed. And I think we're doing that. And just so many people are stepping up. Yeah, I think our defense got a lot better, especially in transition. Um, and honestly, like, they just made some threes on us. And, you know, we just kind of pushed through that, that part of the game. And I thought minus the first six minutes, we were really, really good. Clark finished with 31 points and 12 assists. The first in league history to put up such a stat line, perhaps her best performance of the season. We're just tough to guard, especially, like, you know, especially when we just play in transition. Like, we're just playing pretty basketball, playing fluid basketball. We're playing off one another. We're just reading each other, and that's not something another team can, like, scout for. Kelsey Mitchell added 23 points, her sixth straight game of 20 or more, extending her franchise record and some clutch shots in the middle part of the game. We've really taken time as teammates to really get to know each other on and off the, on and off the court, and I think it serves to what you see now. And I think <clears throat> even though it might look a different way to you, we've already established what our chemistry is and how we want to play, and I think um, for us, we got an unbelievable chemistry now to where it's unspoken. After a 1-8 and eight start to the season, the Fever have now pulled even at 500. The 16 and 16 mark also moves them up one spot to sixth place in the WNBA standings. The character people that we have in that locker room, they just weren't, they weren't going to let that happen. And they just, you know, frustrated, yes. You know, needed some confidence, yes. And we just kept working on that and building on that. And, you know, and that's kind of why I think we are where we are today. The Fever have a six-game homestand coming up. It starts next week on Wednesday, but one more road game before that. That comes up on Sunday in Dallas. At Wintrust Arena in Chicago, Brad Brown, WRTV Sports.